Hello everyone, welcome to my favorite morning flow. So we're going to begin standing here. So you can come and you can find a mountain pose, grounding down through the feet, softening the shoulders. When it feels good to you, you can just start rocking your head from side to side. This is my favorite way to wake up in the morning, get the body moving. So I'm excited we'll be doing it together. Just rocking your head from side to side, pausing, and then begin rolling the shoulders, bringing them up, back, and down, and then switching directions, going back, up, and forward. And on the inhale, sweep your hands overhead. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the heart. And inhale, sweeping hands overhead, and exhale, to reach over to one side, opening up the side body. Inhale, move through center, exhale, switch. Inhale, move through center, bend the elbows, open the heart. We're going to do that a few more times. So inhale, move through center, bringing hands to heart center. And then we'll reach up and exhale, reach. Bend the elbows, open the heart. Finding those cactus arms and inhale up, exhale, reach to one side, inhale, move through center, exhale, switch, really waking up the upper back and the chest, exhale, bend the elbows, open the heart, and then we'll take our hands to our low back, we'll clasp them, finding the chest expansion, hinge at the hips and fold forward. You can wiggle the shoulders a little bit here, maybe shake the head yes and no, let that hug of gravity, just let your chest melt towards the knees. If you'd like, you can release that chest expansion, grab opposite elbows for a rag doll, maybe swaying from side to side, keeping a generous bend to the knees if you'd like. Releasing the hands on your inhale will slowly roll up to standing. Returning to that mountain, we'll do some standing sun salutations. Inhale, sweep hands overhead. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the heart. And inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, coming to a halfway lift, so hands to the shins, elongate the spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise and reach, reaching for the sky. Exhale, return to those cactus arms. And inhale, reach up and exhale fold inhale halfway lift and exhale fold then inhale rise and reach exhale bend the elbows open the heart and inhale reach up and exhale fold inhale halfway lift and exhale fold and inhale rise and reach up to the sky Bend the elbows, open up the heart. And inhale, reaching up and exhale, fold. This time, walking your hands out, let's make our way to a down dog. While you're here, you can pedal the feet out a few times. Maybe drop one heel, the other heel. Maybe you roll out the ankles. And then we'll pick up the right foot. You can bend the knee, open up the hip, maybe do big circles here. You choose. And then we'll switch to the other side. So left leg will come up. Find some movement here that feels good to your body this morning. Beautiful. We're going to come back to that down dog. And let's drop the knees to the mat, finding a tabletop. We're going to mix it up today. So turning the fingertips towards your knees so the thumbs are pointed out towards the sides of your mat. Let's move through some cat cows here. So on the inhale, you'll find a cow dropping the belly towards the mat. Exhale, curling the spine, carving out the belly. You'll notice with this hand variation, you'll get this nice opening in the forearms. But you could always do the traditional cat-cow if you prefer. And let's do one more of each. And we're going to tuck the toes behind us, flipping the hands. And we'll sit back on the heels. You can roll the wrists out a few times. 
And as you sit back on those heels, you may get a little bit of a toe stretch, which feels really nice when you wake up. And we'll take our fingertips behind us, broaden through the heart and the chest, lifting up the hips. And then dropping the hips back down, releasing the feet and sliding the hands out, coming to a child's pose. And taking a moment to breathe here. And then we'll make our way to a down dog. And the down dog will take the right foot forward, stepping it in between the hands, dropping the back foot, finding a low lunge. Now I like to take my hand on top of my right thigh, drawing circles here, really massaging out the hips, so feel free to do that. So make sure to go both ways with your circles. And we'll come back to center, lifting up the chest. Hands can come overhead or you can rest the hands on top of the right thigh. And we'll take our right hand, drop it towards the mat. Left arm will reach up and over, opening up the side body. This is one of my favorite all-time morning openers. Then left hand will go down, right arm will come up and over. So just switching sides. And we'll take our hands, inhale, sweeping them overhead. And exhale, take those hands to frame the front foot. We'll shift our weight back, coming into a half splits. So right leg is straight, toes can be pointed or flexed. Play around with which one feels better to you this morning. I prefer flex, but maybe you want to play around with it. Then we'll return to that low lunge for a moment and then going back to half splits. So just moving between these two shapes, the low lunge, the half splits, waking up the hamstrings and backs of the leg. We'll find that half splits holding here for a moment. And then returning to our low lunge. We'll take both hands to the inside of the foot, walking your foot out to the edge of the mat, your right foot to the edge of the mat. Let's lower down to a lizard. And as you're here, breathe down low into the belly, almost like you're trying to breathe down to your back foot. You'll notice that these breaths down in the belly will really help to wake up and open the hips. And if you'd like, we can come back up, bend your back knee, and reach from the foot. If this doesn't feel good on the back knee, feel free to skip it. Otherwise, we're drawing the heel in towards the glute, opening up the quad, finding a little twist here. And then releasing, tucking the back toes and lifting the hips, finding a down dog. Beautiful. Find a little movement here. You can roll forward to a plank. Maybe you can do some dancing dogs here. Kind of moving. We're going to switch sides. So this time left foot will come forward. Now I forgot to record the circles on this side, but I have not forgotten on the audio. So left hand to the left knee, and we're going to just draw circles with the hips, waking them up. Just making sure to go both directions with your circles. Beautiful, so good. And then we'll come back to center, lifting up the chest, lifting up the hands, finding that low lunge, dropping the hips down towards the ground. Let the shoulders fall away from the ears. And we'll take our left hand down, right arm up and over, opening up the side body. And then reaching over with the other hand, switching sides. And we'll take our hands down to frame the foot, finding that half splits. Hold here for a few moments, and then we're going to move into that dynamic movement. Coming forward to the low lunge on the inhale, exhale, shooting the hips back, finding that half splits. Coming forward and back, just following your breath, waking up the hip, 
really engaging in the back line of that left leg, opening it up, waking it up. And then holding the half splits, folding forward. And forehead to shin. And then we'll come forward, taking our hands to the inside of the foot. Left foot walks out to the edge of the mat, finding that lizard pose. Now we are not perfectly symmetrical beings, so this may feel a little bit different on this side versus the other side. That's okay. Maybe letting the head hang, setting that breath down to the back toes. We'll come back up to the hands. And then tuck the toes and lift the hips. We're coming back to down dog. From here, we're gonna walk to the top of the mat. Forward fold and inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale, rise and reach up for the sky. We'll bend the elbows, opening up the heart. And then taking hands. And then inhale, reaching up. And exhale, fold. We'll inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold, and inhale, rise up, reach for the sky. Find those cactus arms. We're going to do this one more time. I think these standing sun salutations feel so good in the morning. It's a great way to wake up your whole body and just welcome in the day. Reaching up, bend the elbows, open the heart. And reach up and fold. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. This is our last one. And fold. Inhale, rise and reach towards the sky. Let's open up the heart here. And then inhale, reaching back up. And we'll fold. Plant the hands, this time stepping back to a down dog. But we'll drop the knees. Coming to a tabletop, giving the wrists some love so it feels okay, flip the back of the hands onto the mat so thumbs are pointed towards one another. You can curl the fingers in and release a few times. And then we're gonna sit back on the heels once again, stretching out the feet, taking a moment to breathe. And then hands come behind us. And from here, we'll lift up the hips, we'll open up the heart. And dropping the hips back down. We're gonna take one hand at a time, lifting up and around. The camera is going a little crazy if you're watching this recording. I don't know what it was doing. I'm just reaching up. And then we're gonna make our way to a seated pose here. So you're gonna come onto your seat. Fingertips will go towards the back of the mat. We'll cross the left ankle over the right knee, finding figure four legs. We'll gently rock from side to side, massaging out the hips. And then we'll switch sides. We're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee, finding figure four legs on this side. Just rocking the hips from side to side. Oh, this one feels so good in the morning. We'll hold at center for a moment. And then we'll gently release. We're now moving to a wide leg forward fold. So you can take your legs out wide, maybe ground down through the hips. And if you'd like, you can walk yourself forward, maybe coming onto the forearms. 
We're going to stay here just for a little bit longer than normal. So every time you exhale, feel yourself softening just a tiny bit more into this pose. Making sure that there's no tension in the neck. Breathing down low into the hips. Taking a few final breaths here, waking those hips up. And then on your next inhale, we'll release, slowly start rolling back up. And help your legs back in. We're going to come to a seated position. We'll be ending our practice here with a short meditation. So taking one hand on your belly and one on your heart. Closing the eyes if that feels good to you. And just bring yourself to a space of stillness. Opening up your senses. Noticing what you hear. What you feel. What you smell. And what you taste. Notice what you see when you look within. Just welcome in the morning and be present with it through your senses. Welcoming in the morning. Now setting a positive intention for your day, anything that you would like to honor, focus on, or dedicate your day to. And as you sit and be present in the morning, just taking about a minute here just to breathe and be Breathing in that morning air, releasing any fatigue or sleepiness on the exhale. Just giving yourself the gift of a few quiet moments before the day begins. taking a moment just to name three things that you're grateful for today. And taking a big deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Gently reawakening. And taking your hands to your heart center. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your morning with me. It's been such a pleasure, and I hope you have a wonderful day ahead.